Okay, right, so we've got, this is, um, this control app is actually really good. Cheap, 500 baht, which is about 12 quid. It's MPPT controller. They say it's owned by Powermaster. P, well, I say Powermaster, it's Powermister. P-O-W-M-R. Difficult word to say, what it was, why they called it that, I do not know. Anyway, this controller, I bought one of these and it, worked i think at the start and then he just decided to be lazy like you'd have lots of sun out the back at the side they have lots of sun at the panels he should have been charging full charge which the panels they can give about 11 amps each so he should have been charging 22 amps and it would like come 22 amps for a second then it would just turn off and it would have no amps right now this is doing a similar thing this new one right so this new one is the updated version of this if you can see um the style and whatever yeah so, no, well, just to finish off, this is so. This is called something like a. I'll put it in the title. It's called like a B five, a BL five thousand or BL something, right? Um, and what happens is this: this controller is made, but they don't put names on it. They don't put any kind of branding on it for some reason. Maybe so they can sell it to other people. They can put their branding on it, but it does appear that. P O W M R Pow Mister, right? Is the um, is the manufacturer. So, what happened was, I complained and they stay and I sent it this one back and then they sent this new this new one which is now failed after about eight months. But it had a good run. You know what I mean? It used to really really good good charge, and um, and but it's just given up. The go. It's probably just some tiny little thing inside it might even be like a fuse or something on the printed circuit board i don't know so uh, because this one can only can only take 50 volts from the panels so you can never join two panels together because one panel is about 40 amps so you get round about up to you get a, if you had, if you had full voltage you'd have 80 amps uh sorry 80 amps 80 volts running right so i wanted to and the advantage of that, I believe, is that if you've got, if your sun's going down, it's like getting like half past four and the sun's getting ready to go to go to sleep. You, you might be making your battery voltage, right? Your battery pack voltage, yeah. That could be, let's say, for instance, 27 amp, 27 volts, right? But the pack, if you've got a panel, two panels in parallel, right? So they can only ever give no more than the, um, than the, the highest voltage, which is the open circuit voltage, which is a VOC of the panel, you'll get, um, you'll only ever get, at the best, you'll ever only get about 40 volts, right? But then as the sun's going down, that could be coming down to around about the 30 and the 28, and you'll end up, because you equalize out what the battery is, nothing flows. But my idea is, I think it's true, is that if you've got 70, if you've got, 70 odd volts right maximum because you've got two panels in series right when it, the sun's going down you might have 27 volts in your battery pack but you could still have like 30 you could have 30 something volts coming from your panel so you'll still get some because there's a difference you'll get some flow right and you'll get some amps at the end so i thought okay but obviously that has to be paid for in the form of you have to get a better controller because these can this controller can only take 50 volts right so you not you can't do it. So this new one, the new model, can take a hundred volts. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. I wasn't going to I wasn't going to get a new controller. I was just going to stay with the uh, with the motorbike charger and not bother with the solar panels and get rid of them, right? But um, so that's that's where we were. So this came right. So uh, you, so the, the interface uh, looks like so we've got some. We've got some uh, temperature, 72 volts. See, for a split second, I don't understand. That should be saying what the volt is all the time. If I go off it and go back to it. See, it's not saying anything. I've had a con So what happened is the controller that I had before this did exactly the same thing. It would, the voltage is there. If you look here, the voltage is here. This is coming from the panels. Right, that's the panels there, right? Right. Why is that gone down to 13.2 volts? So it thinks it's night time now. Let's just put that on, right? So you put this on here, 72 volts comes up for a split second. Let's just say that. I believe it's that all the time. It's showing the voltage of the pack there. You know, what's that all about? 
All right. That should be showing, and it should be going up and down and staying. Oh, no, the voltage could be going down to 50 volts or up and down. I mean, if, if, the, if the, uh, the, the clouds moved across, it's just not doing it. It's exactly the same as the controller I had before they replaced it for this one, which then was brilliant. You know, just go 22 volt, 22 amps or 19 amps or 10 amps, whatever it was, but or constant. This is, this is on and off, on and off, right? But the weird thing is, I should then be able to go to. Um, see, that's just saying that's just giving me 20, 25, 25 volts coming from the panels, but that's not real, that's just showing us the pack voltage, right? And then there's this. Now, what would happen before was on the faulty one I had a long time ago, which wasn't this one, it was the as I say, it was this, um, this uh, solar charger, the old, the old one that's blown up since that would go up and down, that would suddenly go to zero. Then it would start up again. It was like he just wasn't. He wasn't having. He was electronically there. Like he just went off for a split second there. And why these scholar controllers work as well? There's two types. There's PM, PWM, pulse width modulation, where it's just the way that they. It's just um, a form of modulation of voltage. Then another one is called MPPT, which is a maximum power point tracking. And the MPPTs, which is what. This one is, it are the best apparently. It looks for the exact sweet spot with the amount of uh, electricity that's coming in from the solar panels and it decides to convert it to your battery voltage at exactly the right time. And you know, I don't know exactly how it works, but anyway. So these ones, these are PWMs, are um, not as good apparently, but they work. At the end of the day, as long as the voltage goes in, you don't care, do you? as so long as they have the volts and, amp, and you get the amps going in. So that, that there, it's just nothing. That should be going. I've got two panels out in the sun. They're on full sun. Uh, the sun's right up ahead and they're relatively clean and I shouldn't be getting five. I should be getting a lot more than that. So this, and then that's my configuration there is that now, if I was to keep the button pressed there, it tells all these different configurations. That's 3.2 volts cell right so it's a lithium a lot of life post cell and it says dash four and it's got codes right five then you got 3.7 which is the net the other type of batteries i can't think of what the name of them is now nickel uh, nickel cobalt nmc nickel uh what is it now nick nickel I can't remember them. It's NMC anyway, and cobalt they use with cobalt. So, and you choose then, and what it does by looking at these, so yeah, so the 3.2, it's got two types, two types of, um, it's got two types of LifePo batteries, a four and a five, right? And what it does, it knows if you're using like their 3.7, that's the liquid, the NMC batteries. And you can have a you can have a type four, all right? So there's two different. I don't know if you really get that, right? There's so when we go through it, it's saying you can have a, a, a cell type three point two, which you know is a life boat. You can have it the version four or version five, or you can have NMC cells, which are three point seven. You have you have th version three or version four. For the charging so what it does it when you when you turn this on and it sees that your batteries are 24 volt because they're at 24 volts 27 volts it knows that you're using 3.2 cells but in a configuration to make 24 volts so it knows it, it knows what your what your charge voltage should be and when you look in the chart right so and i've decided i think i decided on uh 3.24 Hit the finger pressed, and that gives me because it knows I'm, it'll charge at 28 volts, right? So, so it knows I'm a 24. Well, I, I I selected 24 volts, but anyway, it can auto auto detect, and it did originally. All right, see that there. Oh no, that's the outgoing. Uh, if you had a 24 volt bulb or something like that. You can uh, configure that. I don't. No one ever uses any of that. So you have to buy lots of. Uh, again, and that's my pack voltage. That should be that should be twenty nine, up at twenty eight, whatever it is. And that's the main screen. Now, if I 
go to um, if I press this button down here it'll all right so then keep it pressed right these are my different oh no forget that bit I'm looking now for the voltage so I can change it this is a charge voltage so you've got two you've got a constant charge voltage there right recovery and you keep the button pressed this one here right and I could change that if I wanted to yeah right recovery so you keep the button pressed and it'll put it in but then you press it again I've asked for 29.2 it's called constant charge voltage right so I'm asking for that all right put it bring it back keep it pressed and input it but that's it so you know it's just not having it yeah you saw for a second then uh, it's only allowing through the vault. I've had exactly the same thing on the old version of this controller and that'll just splodge on for a split second now and then you'll suddenly see 72 volts come up rubbish so there you go that's the BSC 3048 and it can charge up to 48 volts but say it's, it's only charging a little bit. Basically, my battery pack's been for two or three days. It's been hovering around this. So it just comes on for a split second and goes off. There you go. The, the, the P-O-W-M-R, POW, Mr. BSC 3048. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this one, I remembered it. This is the BL100, because this is a 100 amp charger. Right, it's a good charger. Uh, good, yeah. I should buy it again, really, but I thought I wanted the 100, the 100 volt open circuit voltage. I wanted the 100 volt so I could put two panels together. You see, it's why I bought it. This is the only reason why I bought it. I wanted to try it out, you know, but it's not working. Okay.